Hello humans, my name is Nevitz aka the Gutter Monkey and I am back with some more Game of Thrones. And we are about to start <laughs> episode 4, hopefully. Hopefully? Wait a minute, oh I'm going the wrong spot. I'm an idiot. Just go to play. Like a normal thinking human being. Oh no. Are we going to be dealing with White Walkers? Were there even White Walkers on Season 3 of Game of Thrones? This came out at the end of Season 3, didn't it? I don't know, my memory is screwed. I can't remember stuff like that. Previously on Game of Thrones. My father is planning to make a move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans, because you have a traitor in your council. He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. North Grove? That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. I will tell my father our betrothal stands. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Had to. Are you going to be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? <laughs> you can be Lord Roderick, so long as we all know who holds the reins here. The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. What? I didn't do that. Did I? I don't remember doing that. I did all I could to keep from killing him. They don't really tailor these previously on uh, how you actually played, do they? Uh, I am going to get in so much trouble for that. I promised John that I wouldn't cause any trouble with that guy. I mean, he started it, but still, it doesn't look good on me. Oh, yep, look at that. My arms are tied. They have me in custody. I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. I told you I was one. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. What sort of brother are you? I was being are? attacked. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and. and we fought. And so you struck him down and left him to die. You told me what you did to get here. We both know you had blood on your hands. But now, you've killed one of your brothers. And if you remember, I was honest you with you also. You'll for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. Nothing. 
You don't even have the courage to admit what you did. I mean, um... There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger. I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. It was go true, on, he was then. there. Yeah, he was there. Then go on. What did you see, boy? Garrett's telling the truth. Brit attacked him. Just like he said, Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. This guy just wants some me to die. Deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for for some reason I can't fathom. No, we're not. He's telling the truth. You can't fault a man for defending himself. Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go. I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Crossfinger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusted. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrod. You told me you wouldn't get into it with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrod. I thought you were going to be by my side at Crusters. Uh. But there's no coming back from this. I'm just. I'm, so, I'm sorry, sorry. I let you down, John. I didn't mean for it to come to this. You gave me your word, Garrod. It can't have been easy. Facing the man who killed your family. Aye. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. But Jesus. You're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Craster's. How is this any different? Gods be with you, Garrett. These We're people down don't... a man, so keep your eyes open. Now let's move. These people don't even care if you're defending you're yourself. Your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say. I mean, seriously, how many times has someone gotten in trouble for defending themselves on here? It's like they just... The only option you have is just to die, and that's the only way you can't get in trouble. Someone attacks you, you die, and then you won't get in trouble. Otherwise, no matter what, you're going to get in trouble. They don't have any kind of court or evidence, apparently, that you need to present. And I think the only time I even saw that on the show was with Tyrion a couple of times. Tyrion's the only one who gets a who gets a fair trial. Episode 4, Sons of Winter. That's what it's called. Sons of Winter. So I probably will end up outside that wall somehow, and then we'll see a White Walker, probably. That should be interesting. Okay, we're in Essos right now, so we'll be playing as Asher, probably. Do you know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. Especially those who seek to waste my I'm telling time. the truth. I wouldn't lie to you. You have my word. Your word means nothing. Then why am I here? Not when it is so easily bought.
Oh, shit. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Well, yeah, it's still a monster. I'm gonna be afraid of it. Look at it. Your I've seen snakes. I'm still scared of those. Viseron. It's all right. <laughs> I'm still getting I'm used still to it. I'm still getting used to it, that's all. I'm sure that's it. Woman, you know that's scary. Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea. Well, go ahead, he's not gonna hurt me. I'm to agree with her on this one. Do it. Oh shit. Hey buddy. You're brave at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. Uh, You're asking for proof. She's Will not gonna be believe anything I say, I'll just show her the tooth. I have this. Rogan, how did you get that? Oh, she believed me. What have you done to him? I didn't. You've hurt him. Hurt him. He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. I'm he sorry. We didn't mean to. Anyone. I don't want to tell we her we're did, chased. I'm sorry. It wasn't our intention. We weren't looking for a fight. And neither was he. Sure he wasn't. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sword. Yeah, you be quiet, please. You're my friend, but zip it. Why did you come here? You've been polite, accommodating. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude. What do you want from me? I want to Asher avenge my mo brother's murder. My little brother was murdered in front of his family, and our youngest is still held against his will at our enemy's house. What is it you expect me to do? We need to hire an army. An army? If you could spare some of your cell swords, please. If I also came here looking for an army, but what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. We both want the same thing here. To liberate Marine, to see you take the Iron Throne. That's what I want to. If you really believe that, you'll understand why I cannot help you. Oh, for Christ's sake. There must of be course. something I can do to convince you. You know, chill out, you Jurassic As dick. we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me. Croft? You may leave. <laughs> But hey. Your Grace. See them out. Uh. We're not just cell swords. We're the best damn cell swords in Slaver's Bay. <laughs> That's a bit of a bluff. I know a few who might disagree with you. Is boasting aside, they were two of my best fighters. And Beska here, she has a history in Marine. She can help guide us. What the hell? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. Come on. You know you want to do it. So you yeah. wish to accompany them? You'd help the second sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. We got to. Let's Is do it. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this. Okay, Make she will consider my request anyway, so I just... Asha, please. 
Uh, I can speak only for myself. I can only speak for myself. I'll go alone. She's the one who knows the city. She will accompany you, or you won't be going at all. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Maureen, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger. I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. Got every cameo character we run into is a douche to us. Every one of them. Tyrion was the closest to nice. What the fuck happened back there? Are we really going into Marine? I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry it happened this way. As long as you get your army, right? Beska. Get your armor patched up in here. Extra bed rolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. So he's not going to be friendly anymore either? Long time since we had a piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Well, it'll be cool, man. Just... Nail! We got two more! Everyone around here is so high-strung. Okay, we're back in, uh... <laughs> Iron something. <laughs> Iron Wrath. Or Ironwood Grove. Curse this bloody leg. It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You want to take Griff down next time? You want to stop lying in the mud and letting people walk all over you? We had to. You're speaking to your lord, Sir Roiland. He can fight his own battles. You know why he had to stay Enough down. talking. Is all this talking supposed to help? You can't just fight through the pain. You need to try something different. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. Okay. What's he gonna do? Bring your opponent down to your level. Could you just hold me? I don't When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Drop down, avoid his blade, and Oh uh, shit! I don't know what I was thinking just then. <laughs> Let's try it again. I was pressing down. Ha! Now that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. So we hurt herself. My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena. She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I hear we're to become sisters. Talia. No, oh, she's got bad news. Roderick. Can I speak with you? Privately. She can't marry us. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. I've missed you, Elena. I've missed you, Elena. <laughs> I've missed you too. Truth be told, you're the only one I can turn to. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father Griff had subdued you and... And that my sister would make a fine reward. What? As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean? He demanded I end Albatrothal and marry his son, Griff, instead. What? Uh. 
Lord God. threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I Great. am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant pig-eyed prick. I still can't believe. We'll stop this together, to Lena. We're in this together. I won't let this happen. I knew you'd help, but my father won't do, but... listen. I'm not going to be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. He'll probably be the one throwing you the bone. We have to get rid of him. Jeez. Oh, I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind, and so have I. He's too protected. It's, all like it's as simple as walking up to him and putting a knife in his heart. He's protected by a garrison of his own soldiers. We have a way around that. Oh, they got a plan. Oh, oh, what do we got? We got a, we got a little ar well, not an army, but we got some guys at least. You brought your men. I command father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. All right. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. I'm in. The whole guard. Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. Twenty men. What uh, do you have to lose, Roderick? Our lives. Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. This could help. They do still have Ryan. White will still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. This Please, sounds too easy. Promise me you'll do this. I can't make that I promise, you, actually. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. Will you help me? Uh, I can't. You aren't even going to speak to her? Arthur, would you give us a moment? Yeah, I got to think about this. I know you have to think of your family, but... I don't have a choice here, Roderick. The thought of him touching me, calling me his own. I won't live like that. We don't have to murder Griff. I can use those soldiers another way. How? I've thought about it, and this is the only way to be sure. What else could you do to stop it? I know uh, it's... I'm just going to stall. It's drastic. You'll just have to trust me. I don't know. You know me, Elena. What other choice do I have? All right. The guard is yours. Thank you, Elena. Hell yeah. I just hope that when the time comes, you'll do what must be done. Well, we'll see. I guess I part of me still hoped that when this was over, we could play hide and seek in the grove again, like we used to. Uh -huh. Pretend we're still <laughs> children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. Uh, I'd like that. I'd like that very much, Elena. Then you know where to find me. Hmm. What should I do? Ah, I'll later give her a smack. Okay. So we got some people now, some men. Mira Forrester, King's Landing. Can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. Hmm. For all I of fancy one she'll hour. marry his brother too. Not to I mention put Cersei and her. Jamie. Oh, the Lannisters have spies everywhere. What is it, Tom? Remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick? About Whitehill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud Whitehill. Yeah. 
Lord Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't know what. Give my pat well on the back. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. Eh. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? I'll ask her. We are friends. I'm sure she'd help if I asked her. I'm well. I'm not sure. It's a good plan then. It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. I don't really trust Sarah either. She's there's something fishy about her. I don't trust anybody around here. They're all fishy. I don't even trust that boy. I still don't know why he's hanging around me and helping me. We we're back at uh, Castle Black. Hey, what are you doing out here? There's leftover honey cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. That the one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Oh, you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. Okay, we need to get the hell out of here. To death out here anyway. Well, that's one good thing about all of this. I was kind of torn about if I want to abandon, like, uh, the Night's Watch, my friends here and all of that. But I am no longer torn about it. I am totally cool with going behind the wall and just sad. running amok. I know I shouldn't be looking around at everything. Oh, wood's rotten. This is all bloody useless. Time's wasting, but... Must be the latrine. I'm not sticking around to use it. Hey, so... Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. Okay, that's I what we need. A way out of here. Look at it. No one out there. All right, perfect. We'll grab this thing down here. Pick it up. We'll open the door with it. Hopefully. That might be useful. Don't know what I expected. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, maybe we can pry this off. We got it. Oh, this one looks loose. Damn it. Garrett! Oh, all right. Cotter, what are you doing here? I heard him talking. He had to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them. Nobody believes him or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. <laughs> I have to get out of here. They just That's instantly. I, I want to help. Or you'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? He wants I out told of here. You my secret. And you said you were my friend. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. All right. You're a good man. You know that. Don't go singing my praises just yet. I want you to take me with you to the North Grove. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black, but I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. It's rusted a bit inside. I can try, but it may not do any good. There's a loose stone over here. Can you see it? Yeah. It's not moving though. Keep trying. We should try it on Let's our side. 
We got that uh, trail. Garrett, what are you doing? I'm breaking out. Getting out of here. Maybe, hopefully. I can see it. it it's coming loose. All right. I'm going to try to push it out. You pull, all right? No problem. Now that was easy. I hope no one heard that. Hey, can you fit through? I think. All right, let's let's make a run for it. Come on. Shit. down our friend oh shit oh, <laughs> you two idiots lucky I'm not frostfinger thought you were being sly eh? I figured you'd try something like this it worked Didn't you can't it? be seen then with us it's not safe to be seen with us then good thing I brought this now let's go you're not coming with us Finn what are you on about Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you think he's gonna do when he hears you've run off with potato fucker over there? <laughs> I'd rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. You know that. Yeah, good at starting them anyway. You'll need another blade at your side. Three's better than two. Admit it. You're not coming with us, Finn. I'm asking Garrett. Uh, come on. Having another ranger along couldn't hurt. Till he stabs you in the back. We'll talk later. Move. I'll probably end up executing him too if he stays, so we gotta take him. Can't turn him away. We'll all become wildlings together. wrong oh. there's no turning back now we're deserters for sure we're breaking our vows that's I'll fine by plenty me of oaths, broken plenty too it's clearly fine by him as Words well don't mean shit there'll be a price on our heads or worse I didn't mean for it to come to this the vows I took here. I meant them. Oh, I didn't. Someday I'll come back to one of them. I didn't know that's what he meant by. Damn it. I wouldn't have put that. <laughs> they know we're gone now. Then Let's how go. fast can you run? Let's go. I don't like the way that tree is looking at us. I'm worried Roderick's going to end up just like Ned Stark. I mean, he's got Ned Stark written all over him, so we know how that ended. Oh, 
You just can't be a good and honorable man, especially one with a cane, if you're on Game of Thrones. It's worse it won't than end thought, well for it? you. Roderick! There you are. Lady Forrester! What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester, and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. I'll talk him I down. Try talking to him first, see if we can know. work this out. And if that fails, you may have to do more than talk. That'll be my decision, Arthur. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Uh, well, don't just stand there. Go get them. Yes, of course. That was risky. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. There's supposed to be a traitor around here somewhere, and I'm kind of inclined to believe it's the I'm maester. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Oh god, you're gonna Together. die. She's dead. We're probably all dead. Because I highly doubt we're going to walk in here all heroic and make everything better. That's just not... Doesn't seem realistic in my head. I don't see it happening. Okay, maybe he's not the traitor. I don't Roderick! Help me. Tell your dog to obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore? What are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you. me! I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. Excuse me? What's going on here, Griff? He's disobedient. Just like you were, Roderick, <laughs> before I brought you to heal. So now he's paying the price. Jeez. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't believe you. <laughs> You're not the Lord here, Griff. And I'm tired of you pretending you are. You think I'm fucking pretending? You know what I think? Something sinister. My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Then you'll see who's the man. Be careful. Who's the cripple? <coughs> careful, Griff. You really don't want to do that. And why the fuck not? You planning to stop me? <coughs> oh, uh, I seriously now, fucked eh? that up. Fancy yourself a warrior? No. I'm Nothing, really done. Roderick. Just give up. Not today. God, I can't believe I fucked Accept that up. It. You're just embarrassing yourself. What the hell is this? What are your orders? I'm the only one here who gives the orders. What are you waiting for? Come on, defend your lord. Take their weapons. What are you doing? Drop it. Now. Better do it, man. This is my hall. You have no right to be here. Now then. About humility. Get your hands off me! Maester, are you all right? Yes, I think so. 
My father will go straight to Roos Bolton. He'll flay you and your sister and your fucking family. I did warn you. I did warn you, Riv. You gonna hurt me? Your no. friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone, I will see that you pay for this. I'm not hitting him, no. All of you! I'm not doing that. What's it gonna be, Roderick? I'm not like you. I'm not like you, Griff. You're right. You are a fucking coward. Confine the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. Coward! Bloody coward! I still don't feel any confidence right now. This is just a peak before some tragedy goes down. Some serious tragedy. You know it is. Words cannot reach High Point. You must be sure of it. Not as long as they still hold Ryan. Kill the Ravens. All of them. Uh. Now, if we kill the Ravens, that means nobody can contact us. So who else... Would we need to contact right now? I swear I will. Fuck you and your queen. That's enough. So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders. And getting pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there. Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage. What in the seven bloody hells are I you talking about? I will not let about? you bark orders at me. I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? Or the fuck what do you What are you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Break There's it up. the asshole I remember. Hey, come on, Vesca. Leave the poor Let man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend! She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck or this up. Are you up. looking forward to it? Don't worry about Mind us. Mind your own business, Croft. I don't you don't need to worry about us. Just take care of this. Because if she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Mr. anyway! what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? <gasps> oh, Jesus. Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. Will you stop trying to hit me? Whatever your problem is with Croft, just let it go. You think this is about Croft? You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? <laughs> <laughs> Your fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into marine with you. You brought me here. Just, Just talk, talk to, to me. To me We're done talking. Jesus, woman. Come on, Asher. Calm down. Oh, What's your if this problem? Was a real fight, he'd be dead. Do you want to help? Come on. I'm gonna fight back. Fight back. Is this what you want? Actually, uh, like, yeah, it changed my mind. Uh, uh, fuck it. Get off me. Oh my God. It's me. It. Biscuit, it's me. Talk to me. I was a slave here in this fucking city. <sighs> well, you should want to do this then. I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started. He started sending other children. And that's how she got so tough. 
I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. You never get used to something like that. It's horrible. Lance, what kind of a monster would do that to a child? To him, we were not children. We were his playthings. His... Entertainment. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. Oh, she had to kill him. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it, smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. That's enough drinking for tonight. It'll only make you feel worse. I don't need any more men telling me what to do. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man. This is how you can get even. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. I'm taking the drink away. Come on. You've had enough. Let me say that. We can't have her running out there drunk with us. It's not going to be any help. And he's right, that will just make her feel worse. Tommen's Coronation Feast, <laughs> King's Landing. You shouldn't say that. <laughs> Why not? Mira, I'll meet you inside. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Uh... I need to speak with Lords Morgren and Andros. One of them might be working against my family. Doing what? If I knew that, I wouldn't be here. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you, but I can't risk it. I'll take the blame. Take Screw the blame. it. You can tell Marjorie I snuck in and you tried to stop me. She's already thinking about replacing you. Are you sure you want to risk it? I have to. I'm past the point of caring, honestly. I don't like her too much anymore. All right. You owe me for this. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Okay. See what we can screw up. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira? Lord Garibald Tarwick. My lord. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. He gets a bit carried away. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't partake yourself. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. 
talk to the wrong people. Oh, and... Lord Tarwick. <laughs> oh, what's this about? What was that about? <laughs> Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate Jeez, ears anyway. It's clear. <gasps> oh, really? Huh. My ears are not we'll delicate. That. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little <Stop> low. <laughs> <it. laughs> what? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? Uh, I have, personal I have business. to take care of a personal matter. Oh. Well, don't let us stop you then. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! Okay, should we just go straight up to him? Wait, find out who is helping Lord Whitehill. Oh man, I don't know what to... Yeah, I'll, use, I'll eavesdrop up here first. It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Hmm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? All right. I wonder what the deal is with this guy. No, we're not drinking. Oh, I can't remember. I, I think it was a bird. Mm, close. A cock. That's it. <laughs> no, that's terrible. <laughs> You're the one telling the joke, remember? Okay. Well, they're having fun. Who else do we got? Crowd. Let's give it a shot. I heard he was killed. Right here in the garden. Well. Wasn't he Lannister? One of their guard, but still. Yeah. Surely they found who did it. No, they haven't caught him yet. Not for lack of effort, mind you. I hear they've spared no expense. But surely nobody would suspect me of killing a guard. Look at me. Okay, I'm gonna go eavesdrop on a uh, what's his face here. And why would you ever stop dealing ironwood? Hmm, is there no longer a demand for it? I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? What would that be? No, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. Okay, so... No. I guess we should go talk to him now. We can stop and look at the flowers, though. I can't look at flowers the same way anymore. Okay, then, never mind. Let's... <laughs> should I talk to Andros? Uh, let's talk to Andros. Lord Andros? Mira Forrester. Did you come to poke your nose in my business once again? You have a nasty habit of doing that. Well, that anger is bad for you. You're always so livid, Lord Andros. It can't be good for the Constitution. You think you can mock me? You have no idea what you're up against. Why don't you tell me then? 
You think you and your friend Morgren scare me? Who said Morgren was my friend? Don't play innocent with me. I know what he's planning. You can tell him that either you both stay out of my way, or I'll do much worse than drive him out of business. Hmm. Good day, Lady Mira. All right then. Let's go talk to him. <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira. I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. If I tell you how I did it, what's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the gall. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. I was feeling feisty. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. You stopped doing ironwood? Just enjoy my company. I've heard you stopped selling ironwood. Not on my account, I hope. How did you? So it's true. It appears that you know most of the story already. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. <laughs> Andros is now Lud White Hill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. That man would be nothing without me. How quickly people forget where they started. We do have a common enemy. It appears we have an enemy in common, Lord Morgren. I hadn't thought of it that way. Yeah. Then perhaps you'll have better luck against Andros and his new partner, Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard, are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, <laughs> leave him alone. Please excuse me. No problem. Okay, I know this is a... Find out what Andros and Lyman are planning. I know this is an awkward place to stop it, but... I am completely out of time. So, I will be back with some more Game of Thrones in just a little while. Until then. I would be your muggy man, mama. Just can't cram no coconut trees. I would be your monkey man, mama. Just can't cram no coconut trees. Clothes ain't sharp enough. My clothes ain't sharp enough. I break down with you, dizzy males. But I don't get on my happy black knees.